Uh, the latest that we are getting in uh, the explosion in Rohini, uh, the police have uh, released uh, uh, a footage, a CCTV footage, and as you can see on your screens, uh, the the blast it occurred at uh, seven uh, seven thirty in the morning today, and uh, what you can see on your screen is uh, the kind the intensity of the blast was so uh, much that the entire uh, CCTV uh, it got uh, uh, dismounted from its source and. Uh, uh, although there was no one, no one in the vicinity when the blast took place, the intensity is something that uh, you can see on your screens in those CCTV footage. In fact, uh, the police, uh, they have uh, currently filed an FIR under the Explosives Act and they uh, are looking at all the possible angles, uh, including the CCTV footage uh, and uh, one of the CCTV footage that has been released by uh, the police, uh, the Delhi police, uh, is uh, what we are showing you on your screens at the moment. Uh, remember, a loud explosion took place uh, near a CRPF school in Rohini early in this uh, early in the morning uh, today. And uh, post that, uh, the bomb disposal squad, fire department, uh, the NSG, as well as the NIA teams uh, had uh, uh, rushed to the spot, and uh, they are conducting searches in the area. Uh, remember, uh, we heard uh, the eyewitness account as well, uh, where. Uh, uh, the people uh, who complained of a loud uh, explosion early in the morning. There was a lot of smoke billowing from the spot. And uh, uh, now what you're seeing at the moment on your screens is the CCTV footage that has been released of, uh, of uh, the blast that took place. And uh, this, is, this, is, this is the CCTV footage that we are showing you on your screens. Uh, the blast, it took place at 7 uh, 30 in the morning today and uh, the impact uh, it resulted in uh, the CCTV getting dismounted from its place the impact was so high and uh, you could see there was nobody uh, in the vicinity at the moment uh, in uh, in the in those visuals uh, early in the morning it's being a Sunday uh, nobody was present uh, thankfully at uh, the spot uh, uh, somebody might have uh, somebody could have been injured severely, and uh, this is uh, this is the CCTV footage that uh, we have accessed. Uh, that uh, uh, we are showing you. The police has released this footage. Uh, you can see the intensity of the blast that uh, uh, took place early in the morning. In fact, my colleague uh, uh, Tanushka joins us uh, to get us more on this. Tanushka, uh, we have been showing the footage uh, on our screens, and uh, the intensity of the blast is uh, something that uh, is really worrying. Right, Osama, exactly. This footage that we've got now hands-on is exactly from this road out here behind me and the wall that is there is the road that is uh, in the CCTV footage from around 7.30 in the morning and this is exactly the wall wherein the blast happens from. There's also a hole that is in the wall that is, of course, because of the aftermath of uh, this explosion, this mysterious explosion that happened earlier in the morning. This wall is that of a CRPF school in Rohini in Prashant. We her. And as we saw in the CCTV footage, the impact of the blast was such that not just not just the CCTV cameras, but also the cars that were parked in on the road were also completely damaged and. This is the sort of, you know, the impact and the magnitude of the blast that uh, happened in the morning. So this was definitely something that according to sources also, this was a planted bomb and uh, the person or rather the group also that has planted this bomb did it very tactfully and intentionally to give a very clear message and a signal to the agency. So the person who planted the bomb chose this wall of the CRPF school to give a message and also it, it was also planned in the way the morning time was chosen in not a crowded location, not central Delhi. So these are clear indications at this point that what the, all the teams also, the investigation is in its initial stage, but are suspecting that this was something planned. And of course, the investigative agencies, the NSG is still out here on the spot. Uh, the dog squad is also on the spot here. Investigation is still currently underway. There is talks of a white powder that has been found from this area and uh, the chemicals of this, the samples of this have been collected by the FSL team, the CRPF team, the NSG as well and they are all currently uh, you know, investigating and checking the, what, uh, the six exhibits that have been taken up from the 
incident spot. So uh, the investigation will of course further reveal that uh, and answer the questions as to you know what was the motive behind this blast, why was it done, who did it, the CCTV footage and the cameras and of this area from the shops as well are being uh, investigated by the officials at this point. And Tanushka, what is important is uh, the fact that it, this being a Sunday, uh, not a lot of people were present there. In fact, what we see in those uh, visuals, uh, especially in that CCTV footage, is that uh, the entire area was deserted. There was nobody. So thankfully, nobody got injured. But this is a massive, massive uh, incident that has taken place. A big question mark on the law and order situation. Right, exactly, Osama. It's a definitive breach of the law and order situation and security concerns in the national capital. Uh, in the you know last couple of years, such a uh, such a kind of an incident, especially of this sort of a magnitude, the capital has not seen this. Especially the fact that it is happening at the you know the boundary wall of a CRPF school. So uh, with the especially with the festive season on on the spur and it being a Sunday. Uh, the fact that a school was chosen for this blast all of these all of these things are uh, you know parameters that uh, all the investigative agencies are definitely taking right. into account all right, in their investigation